Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Bi Weekly Contest 92 Minimum Penalty for a Shop. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, the first thing I would say about this poem is that, um, I mean, it's okay. I think the first thing I would look at is the, the, uh, the N, the constraints, right? 10, um, 10 to the fifth means that you pretty much cannot do it in, well, I mean, you cannot do it in quadratic time, right? Meaning that if it's n squared, it'll be way too slow. And also it would make the problem way easy. Um, so you, the, the thing here is just trying to find a linear time algorithm or an n log n algorithm. So this is a little bit of, you know, meta uh, analysis there. Um, so one thing that I would say is that when I thought about this problem, I thought it would be more complicated. So I definitely did it in a more, yeah, uh, I wasn't quite sure because um, I think I misread part of the rules uh, in a little bit on this one and it maybe is a little bit early in the morning so uh, yeah so my brain isn't 100% functional yet uh, I would say and I'm going to show you my code in a minute but I also want to make it clear that this is really uh, bad or I was going you could probably, probably see my thought process especially if you watched the live portion that I was kind of trying to think about um one thing and then it didn't and then i was like oh wait i didn't need that but then i kept the code so that's basically the idea but okay so with all that caveat aside let me actually just um let me bring up my drawing thing real quick uh, so basically the idea for me um and this is a common i don't know if i would call it a pattern because i think i, I don't like the, the idea of pattern but this is a strategy that i, I would kind of consider um right and, and the strategy that i would consider is is kind of a sort of um like a uh, like a scan line update e thing right um because uh, like we said about the constraints the things that we um um the point that we're um up to is going to be in a you know you have to do it in a linear way right and so one way to kind of have this linear, uh, I can't copy and paste, so let me, I'm just gonna write them as zeros and ones just because it's easier, right, uh, to, to write. Um, the, so yeah, so the idea here for me is always to calculate, you know, almost like a scan line, right? So my strategy here, I mean, and this may not work for every problem, some problems it doesn't make sense and try to, you know, figure out how to do these things. But one of my strategies is to kind of think about, okay, if this was the answer, if this is the strategy, can I figure out the answer from this way, right? Um, and here, basically, I calculate what would the answer be at zero, right? So there's some f of zero that gives you uh, the penalty, right? And then, and this is, you know, and this you can do linear time because you, the idea is that you only want to do it once. So here, um, what, are the, what was it again? Uh, so let's just say we close at zero then we get a penalty for each of the ones. So here, f of zero is equal to five, right? Because they're five ones, so every time they come up, you know. Um, and I think this is a problem that we've done before, but in a way that, you know, abstractly is different in that, you know, the, the mental visualization can be different, right? And then the, the idea is that our, the, the naive solution, of course, is that, okay, now we calculate f of one here, in between and then you know dot 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 right um and of course if you calculate f of zero it takes n time f of one it takes n time um actually f of one is actually six sorry just to be clear because of the zero on the left right um because we're open but we didn't take that there was no customer um right so and if you take n times for f of one f of two dot 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 it's gonna be n squared but the question is um for me is um it becomes okay let's say we're going from left to right and this is why it evoked the scan line visualization is that okay is there a way that we can represent f1 as a function of f0 right as you go to i don't know some um g of f of zero right so that's basically the idea and it because and and the idea here is, of course, that g of x runs on, I don't know how the notation anymore, is o of 1. Or, I guess, o of log n if we, um, 
uh, depending on how we, you know, depends on the problem, right? So if we can do this, then obviously the entire thing, then it's going to be n times, it's, it's going to be n times of one or n times log n. So it's going to be n of o of n and o of log n, right? Um, that's pretty much, the, so this is the strategy. This is the overall idea. Um, the, and then, um, not gonna lie, I kind of yoloed a little bit and try to figure out the rules, uh, meaning that, okay. So let's just say we open an extra day and you, and I, in my extra video, um, my live part, I actually think I, I verbalized this part. Um, so now going from z z day zero to day one, you go, okay, so this is zero. What does that mean? Right? Well, the number of ones to the right side, it's going to be the same, right? Um, minus maybe this number. So if this is a one, then the number of ones shifted. And you could probably have done it that way too, actually. Uh, and maybe that's even more clear. Um, but yeah. And then as you go from left to right, um, the, uh, you count the number of zeros to the left, right? So then the number of zeros here add by one. I think now that I say it this way, actually the um, you could just keep track of number of ones on the right and number of zeros on the left, and then your penalty is the sum of them. Um, like I said, I think, and that's a problem that we have been given before in lead code. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done it, and even on maybe not that long ago of a contest. But that's basically the general idea. And once you kind of work that out, I mean, maybe yada 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 some details, but I think it is at least at a at a at a at a point where you're able to figure it out yourself. So I'm not that feel that bad about it. Um, or rather like, you know, like I, I believe in you, you can figure this out now, but yeah, so I'm going to show you my code. As I said, I thought that the function, you know, like the G function, if you remember my graph, I thought that that function might benefit from having like, um, a prefix sum, except for the suffix or something like this. Um, but after I wrote it, it, well, it turned out that I didn't, right? As you kind of saw, you just have to keep track of the number of ones to the right and the number of zeros and so forth. And you don't even have to do that. You just, um, you have, you just have to run it once. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So you get the penalty by going backwards and the penalty is just number of ones in the beginning. I mean, I, I wrote all this code and it looks really whatever, but it just count the number of ones, right? Um, yeah. So you can actually just, yeah, I mean, I'm not, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so but, so this is linear time, linear space, linear time, we just go through the way once or twice or three times or whatever. Um, and in terms of space, I do use the suffix away, which makes it a linear space, but you can actually probably, um, if I were to rewrite it, I would rewrite it like this. And this is just customers.count y or something like this. And then best is equal to penalty. And I think that should probably be mostly right as well. Uh, and then now, of course, this is going to be, uh, oh. yeah, oh, I guess we're still in the contest. Uh, I might as well submit it. It's a free submit, right? Okay. But yeah, and this is, of course, going to be um, constant space instead. So linear time, constant space. And that's all I have for this one. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy. Oh, well, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, and to good mental health as well. But you can also watch me solve it live in the contest now. Okay. A little bit slower now, but that's fine. More like a reading thing. Okay. <clears throat> so this is not uh, monotonically increasing, so not binary search, but earliest hour in which, okay, this is 10 to the fifth. It's just sliding windows type thing, but what does these four things mean? So, of course, I need to 
this hour includes oh I see oh I see so only for okay so it's just prefix something backwards or something So then, if we keep this open, uh, it's just a annoying prefix sum problem, I think. But we have to count the number of ends. Okay, so let's just say let's pick it again. Zero. Okay, so then from zero to the penalty. So when code at zero, then it is just all the yeses, right? So that means that actually we can just do this as So yeah, <coughs> that's not right, is it? Huh? Why is this so wrong? Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> Three. So the penalty for closing at the first thing is going to be 3. So then uh, I guess then we can just do it this way. And then what's the delta as we change, right? Um, okay, so four. So then that means that if... We open one more day. Um, if if we open one more day, and this is a y, then the penalty is minus one. If it is a no, then the penalty plus one, right? Give it a YOLO, because without the print statement, that's my concern. I actually kind of did this in a weird way. Okay. <coughs>
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope you had a great prom. And let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay uh stay good. Stay stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.